I'm Leo Waldock for Kit Guru, and this is my second attempt at a PC build for Christmas. The first had triple cooling loops and was, shall we say, a bit messy inside. Uh, happily, we have photos, so it's not completely uh, vanished and uh, gone to posterity. Uh, this is a dual cooling loop system, as you can see. Uh, so, the case is Fantex Primo, a case, one of the very few Fantex I haven't actually previously reviewed. I think it was their very first ever model. Uh, a massive case by any standards. Uh, it's white, which is good for our needs, and it is uh, custom made for dumping all manner of cooling into. Uh, I've removed the uh, side panel, uh, which uh, gives you quite a decent view inside, but does not give you a view up in this area where I've put the reservoir, so I've taken the panel off. Uh, motherboard is MSI X99A Gaming Titanium, which is a sort of funky silver. Uh, we reviewed it recently on KitGuru, liked it a lot. Uh, under the uh, CPU block, there is a quad-core Brawlbully Xeon. We've got 64 gigabytes of G-Skill Trident Z3200 megahertz memory. That's 8x8 gigabytes. Obviously completely over the top for uh, this fun, uh, fun and games, but uh, as our high-spec PC parts go, very nice indeed. And then the CPU block is uh, the new uh, XPX from AlphaCool. Uh, the M.2 SSD is uh, Samsung PM961, which is the OEM version of uh, 960 Evo. It's exactly the same, just cheaper. And then a pair of GTX 980 graphics cards, uh, both with EK blocks and backplates. Uh, around the back, we've got the limited edition Corsair RM1000i SE power supply that uh, we recently did an unboxing of. Uh, we got number 97 out of 100. It's the same as the regular RM1000i, it's just it's white, which again, perfect for our needs. And then we've got an AlphaCool 360 radiator at the bottom and an AlphaCool 240 at the top, both ST30s. Uh, give them a coat of white paint just so they fit in a bit better. Obviously, ordinarily they're black. Uh, and then we've got one EKD5 pump and one Alpha Cool VPP755 pump, which is very similar to a D5, subtly different. Um, and they're mounted on uh, EK pump mounts and they've got uh, EK fan brackets to, to help it all slip into place. Uh, there are a pair of uh, EKX3 reservoirs up here, tube reservoirs, 150mm long. And then the coolant is uh, Mayhem's Pastel Red and UV Green. They don't do a sort of a regular pastel green, it's only the UV, so I've toned it down a bit because that's very, very violent green. Toned it down with a dash of blue to make it more apple -y. And then we've got some uh, dark side LED strips from Mayhem's, uh, two white, uh, one red, one green. Uh, and then the uh, Funktastic fans that are doing their business are Corsair HD120 RGBs. They came out at the same time as the Crystal case, but I didn't get to review them at the time. Um, they didn't have any available. Uh, they came out just after, uh, or were available just after. So finally I've got my mitts on them, and they fit the part absolutely wonderfully. There's a little control box that allows you to set uh, speed, colour, and mode. And Here's what they look like. Uh, I've connected the fans to an NZXT Grid Plus fan controller because the lights are connected to the motherboard and that's cranked to the max to allow the lights to be bright. And then there's a fistful of AlphaCool and EKWB fittings to hold, string the whole thing together. Uh, so there you go. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you want more from Kit Guru, click to subscribe. I'm Neil Warder for Kit Guru. Happy Christmas.